Gary, Jackie, and Stuttering John were in Atlantic City this weekend. Yes. They were at the Taj Mahal? Yeah. I don't know where they were. They were doing some traveling show. I don't know. I'm getting... This is what's going to happen in November, I've decided. Me, you, me and you are going to do the radio show. Mm-hmm. If I go back into radio. I'm going to get rid of everyone else. We're going to Except for Fred. House. i got to keep Fred because I promised him. You don't even have to say that. Fred's not going to leave. Yeah, Fred wouldn't go anyway. <laughs> I'm getting rid of Jackie. I'm getting rid of Stuttering John. I'm getting rid of Gary. I'm getting rid of everyone. Everyone. Yeah. I'm just going to clean out the Gary whole place. Too? Everyone. Wow. I'm just going to get rid of everyone. I just, I go, and I want to have a simple life again. Mm-hmm. I just want to go on the air and talk. Mm-hmm. I turn on my TV and, uh, let me see, who is, who is on the phone? The limo driver for is this Tom? Uh, Dominic Barbara. Tom? Is this Tom? Yes, it is. Alan. Oh, hey, Tom. How you doing? Hold Good. on one how second. Yeah, I'm just rapping. Let me rap. All right, go ahead. Now, because I was thinking about it. Like, I turn on the TV the other day, and I see Stuttering John on Ricky Lake, because Ganji comes running in and goes, Stuttering John's on Ricky Lake. And I tune in, and they're using John in this weird way. It's sort of like when, you know when, when Letterman used to have Larry Bud Melman on, and it was funny? Yeah. And now he's on everything, and it's not funny. And the, I don't even want to see him. And those TV commercials they put him in are not funny. And what and happens Letterman is, won't use him anymore. Yeah, you don't see him on Letterman. I, and now I know why. I mean, because, quite frankly, it's not funny. It's not exclusive to his show. Right. And I love Stutter and John, and I'd love to see him do well and everything, but Ricky Lake isn't really paying him, and he's not out promoting anything, and he doesn't seem to care what people do to him. Or what they put him in. They, he doesn't care. He has no pride whatsoever. He'll do anything. So they put him in a judge's robe. And I guess he's sort of like, I think I don't think Stutter and John's actually worked out a persona on TV. So he's kind of like acts like me. Mm. Like he does a lot of what I do. and he, But it's not funny. They use Stuttering John in an unfunny way. And I'm sitting there watching it and I go, ugh, I hate this guy. Why? I don't want him on my show. Well, he told me, you know, I'm, uh, I'm going to be on R- 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 Ricky Lake, and I said, I already know what you're doing. Yeah, they you're gonna do make a, that with everybody. They turn him into bozo. Yeah, you're going to make a fool out of yourself. And then for a while, Stutter and John did this show, Last Call, and I wouldn't, I refuse to talk about it on the air, because quite frankly, what they're doing is, since I won't be on Last Call, they'll take one of my people and hope that I'll talk about it ad nauseum and propel it to a number one slot. Right. And I don't want to get sucked into that. I mean, can you blame me? First of all, I'm embarrassed by what John's doing. And John's on the air pretending to be Howard. And he's making a fool out of himself. And he looks stupid. And I don't want to certainly promote it. So now John's off the show. And the show looks like it's going to be canceled. But it was. Oh, de- he got thrown off? Yeah. Yeah. He got thrown off. Because he, he, he <laughs> That's sucked. pretty pitiful. But it wasn't even <laughs> that he sucked. They don't know how to use John. I mean, yeah, I was going to say, it's just a bad show. John has no noticeable talent. I mean, John is not talented. I, I hate to break it to him. He's not talented. <laughs> He's a robot. Jackie and Fred and me write him questions. Jackie sits back there with Fred. He needs to be programmed. Yeah. John's funny if Jackie writes something for him or Fred writes something for John him. John is like an actor. Right. If he doesn't have anything written for him, he has nothing to say. Yeah. And unlike an actor who actually has an ability to portray a character, John... John can only do John. Yeah. <laughs> So they so they so that's the assessment of John's talents. Oh boy. <laughs> so quite frankly what's happening now in my career is because I don't go out and do a lot of dumb stuff. Like I won't go out and do supermarket promotions and I won't go out and do act in bad TV shows and stuff like that because mm-hmm. I have some pride. What's happened is they figured out that if they like Playboy just hired Amy and, Temp- and Tempest to be naked in the magazine. Right. And I'm sure everyone expects them to come in here and pr- promote the thing ad nauseum. But these are people that I created. And once I create them, it turns into my worst nightmare because people take them and use them in unfunny ways. Well, it's interesting because that's supposed to be the women of radio. Yeah. Yeah. So in other <laughs> words, Amy and Tempest. let's not pay Howard. Let's take elements of his show, make them unfunny, rip it off and make it bad. But we can use Howard to promote it. Yeah. Just let's use Howard. Let's use Howard. So, it's real weird. And I hate talking to the guys about it because they think I'm trying to keep money out of their out of their lives or something. And I'm not. I don't care. I mean, you do what you want. But 
In the case of the Ricky Lake show, for God's sake. That wasn't even money. Yeah, what are you doing? Why are you acting like a jackass? I mean, not even a funny jackass. So anyway, uh, so the, the latest uh, gimmick on how to take advantage of Howard was, I guess uh, Jackie got booked into uh, Atlantic City. Somebody there must have gotten nervous, and they booked... Um, Caesars. Oh, was it Caesars? Right. Oh, okay. It was Caesars. Right. Oh. Was it Caesars? Uh, Taj Mahal, I should say. Oh, Taj Mahal. Taj. Oh, the Taj Mahal. Right. Tom, you all right, man? I'm fine. <laughs> you sure you saw the right show? <laughs> I you saw, oh, I saw the show, Robin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I saw it. It sobered you up. Okay. Oh, boy. Well, anyway, so they figured out that, like, hello, Tom? I'm here. Oh, okay. So since, so since they, you know, I don't know what's going on. I don't really pay much attention. But the latest thing was, hey, so Jackie was going to do a show. I guess somebody there must have gotten nervous. Is this pretty much the way it went and happened, Jackie? I don't know what you're going to say. Well, I guess somebody got nervous that maybe Jackie couldn't sell out the place or something. No, and then... you got it backwards. Oh, I do? Well, what happened was this guy was trying to put together this tour of... Yeah, I knew that this was and, what this was. And I stayed away from it. Right. But the one I agreed to do was Atlantic City because I wanted to work in Atlantic City. Yeah. But, yeah. It, but it was all done at once, as to my, the best of my knowledge. Some guy had figured out, hey, I'll just book everyone from the Howard Stern Show. We'll get Elephant Boy, we'll get Jackie, we'll get Gary, we'll get Stuttering John, and we'll make it like the traveling I Howard. basically told him I didn't care what happened as long as I got the money that I normally get for doing a show. I didn't care what went on around me because I wanted to work at Atlantic City. That was, well, that's that my was problem. My I care what goes on around me, and I care how this show is presented. See, that's my problem. I care about the show. Some guy had this brainy idea that he was going to do Friends of the Howard Stern Show tour. So in other words, they were going to use my name, get everyone that I've developed. You know, even Gary. The reason Gary is people want to see him is because of what I do with him. Mm -hmm. They're going to get all these people together, put no thought into what was going to go. It was going to be a bad show. They're going to rip people off. And they're going to blame you. And they're going to blame me. And if you ever should want to do a show... That'll already be stuck in some people's minds that the last time they, right. they went to the Howard Stern show, it was a ripoff. Right. And apparently what happens is Gary goes out there first. Ga this show in Atlantic City, Gary goes out there first. Right. His mom comes out first. Yeah. yeah his mom. Okay. Now, Gary is a guy that basically has nothing to do. <laughs> he has nothing to do. And Gary's going to come out first, make a total jackass out of himself, and people are going to be sitting there. Go, he doesn't put any thought into what he's going to say. He doesn't put any thought into what the production's going to be. Nobody has an overall concept for this. They introduced Gorilla and showed his head. Yeah. I mean, what is that? So, you know, whenever I did a tape or I use Gary, I try to put him in an interest. I show, try to show him in an interesting light. I put some thought into it. Otherwise, I want to bring Gary out. But there's no thought put into Gary. He just goes out there and people get ripped off. What they charge? Twenty eight fifty. Twenty eight fifty. He yelled. He yelled at the audience a little bit. Came out. You know, a quick few uh, yells because everybody was yelling "Baba Booey" at him. Well, Dominic told me he went, and he said he walked out. Gary walks. Out. First of all, Gary's backstage. He's like hyperventilating, and he's like, "Okay, I'm ready. Okay, I'm ready." Meanwhile, he's ready for what? He's not going to do anything. All well, he's doing I would is be nervous too if I had nothing to do on stage. <laughs> yeah, Wouldn't evidently. Yeah, right. He's like, okay. And his mother's following him around. And she goes. He goes to his mother. Okay, I'm ready. And evidently, the person in charge is Gary. He seems to be the one in charge of this. Oh no. And and he's like, okay, I'm ready. I'm ready to go out. I'm ready to perform. <laughs> you know, and I told Gary, I don't want him a part of any of this crap. If Gary wants to go appear somewhere by himself and go down and do an appearance, fine. If, uh, or, I, you know, sign some autographs yeah. or just be there where there's an opening or yeah, something. And by the way, Gary just went ahead and did this without my permission. He never talked to you about no, this we, whole he, he tour thing. He did. He talked to me about the tour thing. I told him not to do it. And he just went out and did it anyway. You're kidding. No. Went out and did it. I That's had no right. idea. You were went out and did it. What did I tell you about Friends of the Howard Stern show? It's not entirely what true. What did I tell you about? No, Howard, it's not entirely true. I know I'm crazy. No, no, I'm not telling you you're crazy. We spoke <laughs> right. about this. We had already signed to do this. Was this is the last one, and this was the one we were signed to do from like almost Christmas time, and this was the end of it. First of all, Dominic, let me tell you something. Dominic saw me for in total, no joking around. Yeah. 20 to 30 seconds. Okay. All he, all, Dominic just said he went backstage. No, Gary, Dominic's, Gary a guy, was like this. Dominic's a guy who is dying to get on the air. I don't know. He called me. He said, he, Gary got back there and he goes, okay. 
But th- just nothing like that happened. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> and, and, I never said that. I don't and know. Jackie's like laughing. I got a feeling it happened. No, I'm laughing Jack- at the whole situation because right. I know that nothing true is going to come over the air, but the whole thing. Oh is no, everything true. Anyway. Believe me. Let, let me Dominic tell you. Dominic was You'll not tell me. near the stage. No, here's the truth. I'll give you the truth. <laughs> so, um, well, what happened? Dominic did- was near the stage. Yeah, Dominic sat there. Dominic was Dominic there. Dominic was two tables no, to no, the no. left. I, oh, I thought um, you said Dominic saw Gary backstage. Well, yeah, he saw him backstage no, before the show. He was there for maybe 20 seconds. Down, I'm joking. He said he saw enough. He said he was backstage and he saw Gary like hyperventilating and going, okay, I'm ready, I'm ready. So when he goes out, he starts yelling into the microphone, Gary. Oh. He has nothing to say. He told the joke, evidently, and screamed into the microphone. He, that's why he never has a voice when he does an appearance. Yeah. That was a bad joke. And what? So, so give me a review of the show. What did you see? You're a member of the audience who paid twenty eight fifty. Well, Tell this me. is how it started. Like I said, Gary comes out and starts yeah. with his joke, which was terrible. He told a joke; it was horrible. Friends of the Howard Stern show. Go then ahead. he introduces Gorilla to show off his head. Yeah, well, and, off- and, and of course he has nothing to say to him, right? Of course not. Oh, look what he got for four grand! They take off his do rag to show his head. That was it. <laughs> then they sent Gorilla off. And, and now, who comes on next, John? Now, I understand there was like a big fight backstage. Jackie was insisting that John go on first. There was a whole big fight. That was like a big, huge fight going on backstage. W- who goes first? Yeah. That, that was, this is how much thought was put into it. I don't think you wanted John going first. Well, go ahead. Let me hear what happened next. Well, the, all right. So Gary introduces John. John comes out to do what you think is maybe two or three songs. He comes out doing about 10, you know, the volume that Leslie West has. Right. <laughs> you cannot even, your, your ears are throbbing. We're, we're in the second row. We could not take the sound anymore. And he's halfway through his hit song. <laughs> <laughs> he's not up to the lawn part, and, and we're ready to go. <laughs> he's chasing off the audience. Before he was getting off his lawn, everyone was getting off their chair. <laughs> <laughs> Getting out of the room. And it was so loud. I, it was, your ears were throbbing. And we were in the second row. We were right in front of him. We couldn't have been any closer. That was, it was just unbelievable. It was so, you could not hear one word John said. <laughs> and not meanwhile, people have paid, there's 3,000 people or something who have paid 2850 and they were all chanting, so he, he goes through the first two songs. And people are what, booing? People are booing, yelling, Jackie, we want Jackie. Oh. And, but he answered that <laughs> very nicely. Every time someone would yell, he'd go, I gotta do more songs, man, and then he'll be right on, don't worry. <laughs> He had to do that twice to calm the crowd down. Now, would you keep playing if people were saying? No, I would. I would say, you know, maybe it's time to leave. Yeah, I'll I'll take that as a cue to wrap. Yeah, there's like two, there's like two or three people who were left in the audience screaming. (laughs) And then he he did four more after that with people still yelling. Right. So. And and what is Gary's? And Gary's mother comes out and introduces. That was just a quick two-second thing. She walks out on the stage. Why would somebody want to? Says, I want to introduce my son, Baba Booey. Yeah. That's unbelievable. What is that all about? Well, what she's is got it? more what of an act than Gary. I was, I was on the side of the stage. Tr- still, tr- the, the promoter was nowhere in sight. We're trying to figure out. I thought I should have gone is on Gary's... first because the, the music was going to be very loud. Right. So it made much more sense to me for the comedian to be on and then the loud music. Right. But everybody, but John was nervous, and so I wound up saying, just Well, go ahead. Dominic told me that half the audience must have split during John's stuff. Because uh-huh. Dominic told me he had to leave, and then, and then he came back to see A Jackie. lot of people got up. Out. Anybody close that wasn't really right, th- you had to get up because <laughs> it was vibrating off your head. You know what it is? It's a high school talent night. Yeah. Come on. It's a high Did school anybody leave? <laughs> no. Jack nobody Jack left, but they were. A couple people were screaming Jackie. You know, it's funny because that's also show, what I, I picture. You know what? I'll tell you. It shouldn't have been the band. Because it was it wasn't set up that way. It was just was like was this a set up for a comedy? John, there's no way you could win. on the stage. It's a high school talent night, and it's 20... And, you know, Gary goes out there, doesn't put an ounce of thought into it. You know, if I was going to produce the show, I, you know, I'd have Gary do something. I'd have him do something. I don't know what it is, but I'd have him do something. Well, I'd, I'd have him come out... I'd let him do the Dick Sean routine, come out and vomit on the stage. Uh-huh. I don't care what it is, but at least do something. Well, they, it seemed like they just brought Gary out just to introduce him. But you know what? Even stranger is when you come in before you get into the club, they're not selling Jackie stuff; they're selling Baba Booey stuff. <laughs> you can't buy a Jackie thing, and he's the act. They're selling Baba oh, Booey oh, T-shirts. <laughs> it, 
It made absolutely no sense. Who's going to yeah, buy well, a Baba Booey t-shirt when you're there to see Jackie? I don't know, but all I know is I told Gary I didn't want them doing any of this crap. I don't want any I don't of understand. this. understand. Gary says I, I created this a monster. Was booked before you said no. I don't. Yeah, I don't. I don't care what it is. Tell the guy you're sick. Tell him you can't do it. Tell him your boss said no. But it sounds like you never heard about it before they started booking things. Oh yeah, I heard about it. They were going to do a, a six city tour or something, and I just said no dice. No, no, no. What I'm saying is nobody came to you and said, yeah. What do you think of us doing a tour? Yeah. No. Well, no. Absolutely okay. not. I found out about it. That's exactly how it. Everything's okay. done behind my back. All right. As if I don't put any thought into this show. I, but I'll tell you something, Gary. Here, Mark my words come November. I'm going back to my simple radio mm-hmm. career. I'm, down, I'm downsizing. I'm getting rid of everybody. I'm tired of leeches. Well, give me the rest really of the review. Give me the rest of the review. Can, 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 the can review. I just say one thing, Howard? Yeah. Isn't an MC supposed to introduce the people? I don't know, man. But all I know is to have friends of the Howard Stern show go to Atlantic City, charge my audience twenty eight well, fifty, no, and you put zero thought into it. It wasn't. It wasn't advertised. And John's or, up there for a forty five minutes, but, blowing people's brains. No, forty five minutes. That's let me right. ask you, me. If John is an interesting element of my show, because I've made him interesting. Mm-hmm. John is a nobody. Let, let me take you back. Let me take you back a hundred steps. John is a nobody. He's nobody. He's absolutely nobody. He has no talent. He has nothing. We take him and we make him interesting and funny. You are even more of a nobody. You're no one. True. You're, you're a guy who helps me out in the office. I put you on the air and I created something with you. If I do that, and then you have a little nice side business. You go out, you make appearances, you sign things, you have a t-shirt, whatever. Mm-hmm. You do that. That's a fun thing to do and make additional income. But you're nobody. You're off this show. You're no one again. True. You, there's no T-shirt. There's no autograph. There's nothing. One T-shirt was bought that I saw. All right. So, oh, well, so then you know the whole tally for the night then. That was the tally? Yeah, that was the tally. Now go back behind your wheel. Why, what's wrong with what Tom's saying? Yeah, he was sitting in the audience. He doesn't know. He's letting he, you know. I but Tom doesn't right know. There. He's I just t- giving you a review of the show. I can tell you how many were sold, but Tom doesn't know. So t- it would be wrong of Tom to say. So understand my point about I do this show, which you point. don't understand. No, you don't understand my point about this show. Everything I've worked for on this show is to present to the audience an interesting characterization of all you guys, of everyone, every one of you. And in one night, you go out for twenty eight fifty. And suddenly now it's the Friends of the Howard Stern Show because some jackass wants to make money off of my name. Some guy I don't even know, some promoter who decides, hey, I got an idea. Who needs Howard? Thank I'll take it. the room only held 3000 Yeah, I'll take every element of Howard show, put it onto a show, and we'll call it Friends of the Howard Stern Show. And who cares if people feel ripped off? Robin, it wasn't 3000 but far be it for me to... <laughs> whatever. I don't know how many people well, were there. whatever. Whether there were 12 people or 3 million people. It was, 90, it was at least 90% full. Almost every seat was taken, except for way, way, way in the back. And no production values. The show isn't produced. There's no thought to it. Jackie's screaming 10 minutes before the show he should be out first. John's screaming at Jackie that he should be out first. Yes. Jackie should go do his show. You should do your show. And John should do his show. And quite frankly, I'm not reading any more plugs. Jackie's I read because it's part of the way he gets paid. I'm I'm done with all the plugs. Then the bikini contest was after that. Oh, the bikini contest. It sounds like a, it sounds like a... A madhouse. It sounds like a madhouse in my name. And then John came back again. Oh, John came back (laughs) after Jackie. I wasn't around for that, but I heard he came back. How long a show was this, 12 hours? Well, Jackie was still on doing uh, Stump the Joke Man. That started at 10 (laughs) o'clock. So that was after an hour. We were still just at Stump uh, Stump the Joke Man. And, and then I heard that, at some point Jackie started yelling at the, the audience was so Nine out of control o'clock. that Jackie was yelling at the audience, telling him, "Hey, you're the suckers, not me, f you." Yeah, he was the angry comedian after about <laughs> halfway through. <laughs> He did the exact same act I do everywhere I've ever done in my life. Evidently, he was yelling at the audience, F you, I got your money, you're the suckers. That was that was pretty good, though. The angry comic. <laughs> I say that every night. Stump you. Stump the audience. Stump the audience. <laughs> I say, I got you dough. Yeah, not one person had a good joke. But the hecklers, I, you know, the, the, Jackie screams at these hecklers instead of just avoid, just not even saying Evidently, anything. Evidently, Jackie got into a, an argument with one of the audience and he got down to like, F you. 
<laughs> eat me. <laughs> it was like, evidently, it was like, it was you want to your sister? <laughs> evidently, he started yelling at some bald guy in the front row, and the guy evidently was all shook up because oh, Jackie started man. like, F you. <laughs> want to know exactly. real anger. You want to hear the truth? Him. I said something to the bald guy in the front, and he looked up, and he said, I can't hear a word you're saying. I'm deaf from John's crap. Yeah. I sort of got Well, why don't you care how you're presented? I, I don't understand you. What is your story? See, it's a no-win situation for me. I no, told, it's a no-win situation for me, Jack. Okay. okay. I told John it makes no sense right. for for the comedy and whatever else follows to follow the loud rock and roll. And he didn't want to listen, and he pouted, and I just gave in because I figured... What do I need this for? I, I was, I was going to hear about it either way. And, no, and the way it was just presented now was that I screamed that I wanted to go on last. I didn't want to go on last. I wanted to go on first because it's one guy talking as opposed to a whole monstrous thing. Because I don't know, no but evidently... I don't know. Jackie went out there. He was yelling at the I crowd. Did, I did exactly the show that I always uh, do. Well, good luck. No, he attacked yeah. some poor old man. And the, besides the bull guy, there was this. Hey great Tom, father. hey Tom, how come? Why, why can't he give a review? How come you're doing a review instead of Dominic? Is he Could, working your head? Dominic's afraid to. No, no, he. Yeah, Dominic he called is. me because Dominic couldn't get on and lie. No, here's yeah. what happened. There's nothing Dominic, to lie. Dominic called me up, and was almost in tears laughing. He said he never, he left. He said he left at some point. Oh, dear. I don't know. He got up and left. He said it was unbelievable. He said it was amateur hour. He left about five minutes before Jackie did the Dominic joke, which nobody knew what he was talking about. We still didn't know. I don't know what was going on in Atlantic City, but why it was you, why you friends of the Howard Stern Tom, show. Wait, Tom, Howard, why don't you say the joke, Tom? Jackie was actually good, uh, Howard. Yeah. The beginning of the show, I thought the first half of the show, he was very funny. But how many real end jokes can you hear? <laughs> You know, how many what? Rear end jokes? Yeah, how many ass jokes can you hear? <laughs> how many quarks? I mean, how many of the same thing can you hear? <laughs> Tom, you should have been in the show. You're well, funny. I, especially after you've been, you know, blasted by by stuttering John for two hours. Oh, forget it. I don't know what's going on out there. All you wanted to hear was a low voice. Yeah, just somebody. To, you go play craps. And then about halfway through the show, Jackie has to flip his tape. So it's the funniest thing. Like he stops the show and goes. <laughs> Over and flips oh, his come tape. On, are you kidding? It's hysterical. I'll be right with you. Is anybody watching the tape? Is it time to flip it? <laughs> <laughs> what does he have? A little cassette, a little cassette on, ta- like, on stage? Yeah, right, right where the drums would be. He keeps his water and his little his little <laughs> tape recorder, and then the he flips thing. the tape over. Hey, you know what? Stay home. What? what do you mean? <laughs> there he goes. But he went to see the Friends of the Howard Stern Show. I, I don't even know where you got that name. Oh, I, ask Gary all about it. I know all about it. No, See, I, I know about it. Was, it wasn't even billed to that. I think it was billed uh, just uh, Jackie. Uh, well, from yeah, the after Howard I blew Stern show, but in very small letters on the marquee, it said from the Howard Stern show. But everything else was Jackie. Yeah, name. well, no, no. After I flipped my lid, that's what happened. Yeah, you're getting it backwards, Tom. Stay with the program. No, no, no. He's not getting anything backwards. The, the reason, it, the was reason it wasn't there. called Friends of the Howard Stern show is I flipped my lid about a month and a half ago. I just freaked. I freaked out on Baba Fui and his, you know, Baba Fui found a manager who's yeah. now sitting in, and dreaming up ways to rip my name off. Trying to figure out what to do with it. Yeah. Me. Friends of the Howard Stern Show show. Uh, Gavones. It was a, it, Jackie was funny though. I really Well, yeah, that, well, Jackie should go out and do his show and worry about how he's presented. What are you having Stunner and John blasting away for 12 hours? That ruined the show. What kind of comic are you? It ruined the show because it started out when you, you just like get him off the stage and people are yelling, Jackie, Jackie, we want Jackie every two seconds. Yeah, Jackie. He's guzzling beers. John comes out, he tells horrible jokes and guzzles beers. That's it. All right. Thanks for the review. Okay. <laughs> the reason Dominic won't call in, he said he, he's afraid to do it. He can't. I wish he would call in. Dominic was la- had me laughing. <laughs> I mean, as I was crying. So there was laughter in your tears. Dominic said he was out of there. He couldn't, he couldn't even sit couldn't through it. Couldn't take it. No, couldn't take it. He said, but Gary was funny because he was like, 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 okay, I'm ready. <sighs> he has people working on it. Yeah, like, like he's pacing and like he's ready. He's ready. And, and Dominic goes, what are you ready for? <laughs> Opening night jitters. Yeah, opening night jitters. And he gets out and he like evidently yells into the microphone. I don't know what is he, he goes, everybody Baba Booey. That's like a big embarrassment. It's like it's like it's a big embarrassing show. No thought put into it. Twenty eight fifty. 
People have to drive a few miles to get yeah. there. And I mean, the guy who's putting this all together and who was evidently going to put it together in six different states, this he doesn't care. End, right? yeah, well, he doesn't care. He's going to make a quick buck. Oh, yeah. I care. It's my name. Oh, I blew my load. You don't even know about any of this. This was going on a month and a half ago. No, 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 no. I remember bringing, when I saw, I, was pick, I picked up some magazine yeah. and saw Friends of the Howard Stern Show tour. Yeah, and yeah. I said, what is this? And then what they do is they take a guy like Elephant Boy, again, who's another nobody. Yeah, what and, does he do? But, but It doesn't matter. What they were planning to do is just take anybody that I've made funny and take them around the country and make them unfunny. Mm-hmm. And I'm supposed to like be happy about it, I guess. At some point, I got to stop being such a good guy and bust some balls, you know? I just got nuts from it. Because usually I'm like, kind of like, hey, I want the guys mm. to go out and make some money. But at some point, when do, I, when do I stop getting abused? I'm like the battered wife. You know? Yeah. I'm sitting there taking it. I'm sitting there going, what the hell is going on? Wait, you don't think I could put together a Friends of the Howard Stern tour and, and send these guys out? I mean... And it would be written, and there'd be yeah. things to do, and there'd be some organization. Yeah, I mean, you know, fa fa fooey going out and yelling into the microphone, and then John playing for two hours, and Jackie somehow getting on there, and it's a nine-hour Friends of the Howard Stern, and then there's some beauty pageant in between, and John going on all these unfunny shows and, and just looking like a douche. That, that, that can't go. Well, Gorilla, can you're the uh, new interviewer on the show. Gorilla, you are now in charge of interviews. How could they go out and do a pageant? It wasn't a pageant. Yeah. I don't know what it was. I don't know. Jackie, what was it? What was the beauty part of the show? I, it's my fault for not checking into this whole thing. I had no idea, really. I, I thought the whole thing was put together, and I was just going to be told when to go on. And uh, yeah, do me a favor. Disorganized, and I thought I've always just done my own show. Yeah, and do your show. My guns, yeah, you know, good man. That's it. I, I don't begrudge it. You know, and I it, wanted to work at Atlantic City. You know, I took the, and I took it because I was going to be with those guys. I thought. But when you're, fun, you but know? when you're, when, when, when during your plug, do we have to mention John and Gary? I, I know there's some kind of contractual thing here between us, but you know, do we have to? I just put them in because I figured they would have their separate. Yeah, do me a favor. So don't don't, don't, don't do it anymore. Do me a favor. I'm more than happy to plug you. Just do your own pl- thing. Jesus Christ! If some fiasco went on in Atlantic City. I'm sitting and listening to this going yeah, out of my mind. That's. 2850. Here's some kind of crappy. I don't know. Call me up with a review of the show. Let me know what's going on. Maybe I'm nuts. Maybe these people like hearing Baba Boo yell into a microphone and jump blasting away for two hours. The wall of sound. Finally, to get the comic to come on. And Jackie can't even argue with stuttering John. He's so out of control. You think Jackie, you would be able to just say, hey, John, you're going on last. Step back. You know, Step they back. say, all right, you've been in this the longest. You know, you should have your opinion. What's your opinion? I said, my opinion is the comedian goes on first and the music goes on second. Right. And he didn't want to hear it. So it was like, I heard it was a big argument. It, it, it started on Friday. Not an argument. It was just like he insisted on going on first. Wow. I can't believe you lost that one. Well, I, you know. <laughs> it would Then we would have been in here today and everybody would have been crying that I uh, pulled rank or something. I, you know. Well, maybe it's time I, you I didn't did. I think I could win either way. Well, you expect to go out again, don't you? I think I will, yeah. Well, I think I'd have pulled rank. <laughs> yeah. I don't care what would have taken. Then why would you want to you're alienate like fans? You're a professional. Right. Sort of. Well. <laughs> <laughs> More professional than John and Gary, anyway. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Dominic's on the phone. Oh, here. <laughs> With Dominic. You had here with Gary just did. He threatened me on the phone. What did really? he say? Ask him. Tell me what happened when you were backstage. Wait, bring Gary in. All right, Gary, come in here. Gary's fighting mad. <laughs> Mr. Funny Bone. Come on in, funny boy. I made a, I made a weight joke. Yeah. I told no, you didn't. You're angry at me. You shouldn't be angry at me. So what no, happened? Nobody should be angry at you. Dominic, tell me your, what happened in Atlantic yeah. City. I'll tell you who I felt sorry for. You ready? Yeah. I felt sorry for Jackie. Because when Jackie comes out, if Jackie wanted to be funny, he could be very funny. But what he didn't realize was he goes halfway into his show, the audience is exhausted. They're exhausted from the music because the music was blasting. Wait, Jack, oh, do, wait, hold on, wait, wait, hold on. Dominic. Yeah. I thought you left for all of John's show. So how could you be exhausted? You came back. Oh, I'm, I'm not eat? talking about me. I walked right out. So how do you know how everyone you else walked out? Oh, please. I, you know what? The answer to all this is not me. Because I'm obviously, you all think I'm biased for a talent. Well, we Probably know you are. He went to see, you know, Gary, he you know, went no, to see the he, show. If, how many reviews do you have to get what? before you know? I think here's, here's a guy's review. You think he's being dishonest? To some degree, but not Tell me your review of the show. What I think you should do is get other people to call in. But here's the first problem. There was obviously no sound check before you started. So that, um, 
John's music was just not even, you couldn't hear it. It was blasting. So that everyone was kind of like numb. So when, when Jackie comes out, his first 20 minutes was very good. Everyone was getting into it. It was Jackie stuff. Yeah. Then the audience got tired. Jackie got angry. They got angry. And then just lost it. And what happened? Jackie started yelling at people? Well, yeah, because what happens is... Dominic, people... Dominic. Let him finish. I want to hear his review. But that's not what happened, Dominic. <clears throat> well, he's in the audience. He's telling you what happened from his point of view, not from yours. Yeah, because I think when Jackie starts fighting with the audience and they start fighting with him, he loses what's going on because Jackie knows more jokes than any human being alive. He can really get you going. And I was really laughing hard in the beginning. But then it started to degenerate and get like, it just, it was no organization. It wasn't a show. If the comedian had come on first and got everyone laughing, it could have gone, and I think, in the right direction. But I have a question for the whole group. Did anyone do any sound check plans before the show started? Yes, they did. They did? Yeah, and the guy that Jake Thomas that plays piano with me said it's so loud that it's going to blow the people out of their seats. Uh, what are you going to do? You're going to go tell John not to play yeah, so loud? Yeah, of course you do. I would. It's not my job. I certainly would have gone on first if I knew that information. You're not kidding. Jackie. Jackie, did he really tell you it's too loud? Jake, Jake was there for the sound check, and he said it was so loud. And I said, you know, you, I've been <laughs> in this a long time. You don't tell rock musicians to turn it down. They turn it up. <laughs> but, but this is John. This is Stuttering John. <laughs> this is rock an Aerosmith. Musician. Yeah. John thinks he's Aerosmith. You've all tried to talk to Stuttering John. Uh, Everyone well, I, was, we were like numb from it. I did walk out and go shoot dice till, until John. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm putting a stop to this, this nonsense. I'm tired of everyone using the characters that I've developed and taking them and ruining them. I resent it. Thank you. I don't know if, if Johnny Carson was. What well. happened when you were backstage with Gary? Tell that. Well, no, when I went back, I, everyone was pumped up. It was like... Yeah, what was happening when Gary was like... <sighs> well, Gary thinks that I was only there for two seconds, but I actually stood over on the side waiting for him to go on. He was really excited, and I think he... I think he does have a persona that could be great, but I don't think there was any plan. <laughs> what did you tell me what you... Uh, all right, thank you, Dominic. He won't be he won't be. No, he won't be. He was phone. vicious yesterday on the phone and funny, <laughs> and now he's a big bore. No, I love Gary. Don't Yeah, me thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Domin yeah, I wish I had taped Dominic's phone call yesterday. I'm sitting at home on a Sunday trying to relax. He got me so wound up. Oh. I was I was ready to come in here and start the show. I was out of my friggin' mind. <laughs> it was some kind of fiasco down there in Atlantic City. What did Jackie think of the whole, whole Jackie thing? Jackie is unconscious. He never he said could care anything less. to you? He collected the money. <laughs> never said and, Gary, and Gary's telling me last night on the phone, oh, it was great. We had a great time. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah, great time ripping off my audience. Did Gary stay for the whole show, or did he just come out and scream? And he leave? would scream in between everything. Oh. And I'm supposed to be happy about it. I'm a bad guy because I'm not happy about it. And he conducts this whole contest with yeah. girls or something, yeah. huh? Yeah. I don't know. And Gary evidently yells, you know, <laughs> you know into the microphone. <laughs> no one can hear anything. <laughs> it's, like, it's a fiasco. And evidently they were, you know, they were going to throw Elephant Boy and everyone else in there. So, so we'll make everyone oh, so on they the show. There. So no, so they'll make everyone on the show unfunny. <laughs> <laughs> Gorillo is my new interviewer, and Gary, I don't know what he is, Mister Sneaky with his management team. He better fire his management team. That's what he better do before they get, before he's out of here. And then his management team will have nothing to manage. Manager, he's got a manager, Baba Booey. So far, he's only managed to piss you off. Yeah, and Jackie's always, hey, I don't know what's going on. I'm innocent. I don't know. I don't know. I just go down there. I don't, I don't know anything about it. I just tell ass jokes. Yeah, I just go down there. I don't know. I don't know. He never knows. He never knows. Uh, I'm a hippie. I just go. I just go. Yeah, well, I just wanted to play Atlantic City. Yeah. Uh, 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 <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm a hippie. Hey, do do? I just smoke pot, man. Hey, what are you uh, do? Hey, I'm doing what I want to do. I can't believe he wouldn't, you know, if somebody came to him with a scheme like this, he wouldn't just say, look, if you want, Jack, you know, I'd love to play Atlantic City, but I do no. my own thing. No, no, no. He's going to, he's sliding in there, too. <laughs> sliding into home plate. Everybody with the 2850. And what do you guys do? You have to, you, you get, you, you just get paid your fee, right, Jackie? You don't have to sit and split the gate with those guys, do you? I just get paid what I get paid. Right. Regular press. <laughs> That's the Jackie Depressed voice. Yeah. I, I just get, get paid, paid what I, I wanted paid. paid. 
My regular uh. <laughs> I'm very bad down. move. Shouldn't have done it. Dower today. Well, it doesn't matter. What, who cares what they do with Howard's name? It's all right. It's not yours. You don't have to worry about it. <laughs> well, who cares about the show and how it's presented? I didn't care. I don't care either. Hey, let's just get out there and see what happens. Everyone's like, 2850, you got to care a little bit more than. Then, hey, let's just see what happens. You suckers, I got your money. I got you. At one point, he tells the guy, <laughs> hey, F you, I got your money. Hey, you bald bastard. You yeah, Laugh. suckers. Laugh, you bald bastard. <laughs> hey, what is that, a tumor or your head? <laughs> Come on, you want to start with me? <laughs> you want to start? <laughs> you people. <laughs> <laughs> you people. <laughs> F you. <laughs> that must be some show. F yeah. you. F you. F you. And I don't know. There's all kind of anger going back and forth. F People scream. You. F you. Whatever. Yeah, when Where did you learn that? that in comedy school? F yeah. you. <laughs> Gary evidently came out after John and said, hey, hey, everyone, how'd you like John? And people started booing. I mean, I heard. I, you and know, Gary said to you, it went fine? Yeah. He did, oh, yeah, everything's fine. Well, Gary doesn't want to get me upset. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> well, how clear is Gary? Gary's pacing backstage, you know, telling his mother he's fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay, I'm ready. Focus, and what's his mother focus. doing there? Anyway? I don't know. And what is his mother doing on stage? What is it? What is that? What is that supposed to be? How did she? Was Gary become a superstar? I don't know. Now she's in on the act. I would love to know. I think that's an outgrowth of my mother being on the air. Now right, Gary's mother comes out. I would love to know out. the planning. You know, because somebody yeah. did sit down and do whatever they could for this show. Someone in the audience described it as everyone coming out and thinking they're me. Oh. <laughs> and it's a nightmare. <gasps> I don't care. No one cares. I got paid. <laughs> F you. Suckers. <laughs> You're the suckers. I got the money. <laughs> Great. We got your money. <laughs> Another stellar evening for the Howard Stern Show. Friends of the Howard Stern Show. And Fafa Fui did this all behind my back until I found out about it. Yeah. I didn't know anything about it. Fafa Fui plotting my career for me behind Papa my back. Plunky. He was like, hey, boss, what's the big deal? I don't see, you know, we was just going out there and having some fun. We thought we'd all appear together and go around a six-city tour. So did John's manager talk to Gary's manager? I don't know. I don't know how it was coordinated. Man. Well, I know Jackie's manager, Nancy, his wife. <laughs> and I know uh, John, I met once some, I, some, some intern that became John's manager. I've never met Gary's manager. I think it's Ross or some. I don't know who it is. I don't know who, who his manager is. But somebody dreamed this thing up. Mm. The dream team thought this up for me. Did me a favor. Did they approach you, Fred? No. Fred Fred. No, Fred's the only one who would actually come to me and say, uh, hey, listen, something weird's going so they on. they must have kept Fred out. Yeah, That's it. they'd keep Fred out because Fred's not a nuisance. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, we might as well cash in. Hey. Uh, 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 uh. I've been cashing oh. in since the beginning. They just caught on. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, 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 where's Gary? Hey, Gary, what are you doing to me? Want to explain the game plan? Tell me what I, what, tell me what's coming up in the future so I know. Well, Gary has a son he now has to put through college. Oh, I see. So he's going to make every element of the show unfunny? It is, you know, milk it hmm. now. How sick am I of you? <laughs> Pretty. Yeah, no. I've just about had it. There are no, the answer is there are no other shows. Right. This was just supposed to be John's band opening up for Jackie with me and right. Shane. It wasn't supposed to, it, it, not a whole big thing. Yeah, yeah I'm going to break up the Three Stooges. How's well, that? It's been broken up. Good, good, <laughs> good. I got to be the dick. I, I oh. genuinely didn't know that it was wrong, and once I was told it was wrong, that was it. Yeah, I didn't got to start thinking. I did, but I didn't go behind your back. I don't How many more you, elements are there? Where's Stuttering John? I just don't want you where to is he? Where he, is he's that? in the office. Yeah, where is he? Come in here, you little nitwit. I, I just don't want you to feel that anybody went behind your back. No, I nobody went behind my back. I just read about it in the newspaper. Yeah, but I plead ignorance more than being malicious. Well, that's I mean, at some point you got to start stop being ignorant. You're a grown man. You're the father of a child. 
There's a guy on the phone who wants to give How much can you use me? How much? Right, how, been, are you done right, using me for right, the week? I've been playing in the band for four years. Yeah, I know I you've mean, been playing in the I band mean, for four for years. years. Yeah, and, and when you see Friends of the Howard Stern Show, you just right. jump on too, right? right? I, I, jump I, on the band. I, I, I got to be honest with you. I please. see you on Ricky Lake. You're can real I just funny. Say one thing? I see you on Ricky Lake. How, what was that? You don't care how you're embarrassed, do you? You want to just be on fun? You think you're a funny guy, don't you? Do you think you're funny? Answer me. Yes or no? Sometimes, yes. You think you're funny? Sometimes. All right. You are now fired. Go out and be funny on your own. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. I'm tired of taking you and resurrecting you every ten minutes. As far as band yeah. goes, you know I've been doing gigs for so long. Yeah. I mean, it was, it's not like I, I, I've been playing. So go play gigs. I, I know that's what I'm Whoever gonna, stopped you. I, I knew it was a bad idea. Did I idea encourage you? Did I tell you to do it? It was set up for You knew it was a bad idea, so why'd you do it? Do what? The, no, I had to at that point. Oh, no, no, I no, see. You had to. No, no, no. Who I'm, told I'm you to go about, do it? No, I'm talking about 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 at 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 at, 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 at Atlantic City. Okay. I yeah. looked out at the flick. It was a comedy club. Oh, okay. you know all mean? right, all right. Very good. Good job. Well, I'm glad you had so much planning. I don't want anybody to think that I'm hiding anything. So there's a guy who called through wants to give his re- review. No, the show no. I'm going to give my review. And I would right never. Now. And I would never let, not let it put him through. Hello, you're on the air. Were you there? Yes. You were at the show? Absolutely. Yeah. What happened? I was backstage with you guys for a little while. Was it my girl, uh, Juliana, tall guy? No, no, no. That's the phone call I want. I want to talk to this guy, if you don't mind. How are you doing? Yes. Who's this, Gary? No, it's Howard. Hey, Howard. Yeah, you were on the show. Yeah. I was at the show. But... Yeah. And what happened? That was a good show. You had a good time? Jackie was funny, yeah. Yeah, Jackie was funny. Oh, yeah. But there was a more show than Jackie, though, wasn't there? Excuse me? Was, was there more show than Jackie? Uh, yeah, Sutter and John blew my ears right out the water. <laughs> See, I didn't know it was so loud either. Nobody told me. I wish they would have told Nobody's me. Nobody's allowed to tell anybody anything. But I wish they would have told me. Evidently, you're too big a star. No, I wish Jackie would have told me it was too loud. Hello, you're I, I on the air. Yeah, I'm here. What yeah. happened? All right, I saw Jackie walk up in the beginning with his bag of stuff, you know, and he's kissing these two ladies like he owns the friggin' place. I mean, it was out of my mind. Then then you have John who goes on. John was good. John was really good. He played for a while, you know. He's working his way up. He was pretty good. You have Jackie come out there. He was ticked off at the audience. He's sitting out there yelling, screaming. And heckler, and, and then he would give a heckler a lot of stuff, and then he would sit there and say, "Oh, I'm just kidding. I'm sorry." Why is he apologizing to hecklers? I mean, I don't know on. anything about it. I, listen, you know what? I don't want to hear. You know what? This is a bad idea taking the reviews. Oh, I don't no, want to know anything about it. I oh. just don't want. I just, I just, I'm tired. Uh, uh, I'm exhausted. <laughs> From the nonsense. You, you should you should definitely check out one of these shows. Man. All right. I, no, no, it, it's okay. Thank you. All right. You. Thanks a lot, Howard. Right. And Howard, anything, We're checking out anything. A, anything I ever do, I always check with you. I don't. I don't. Yeah, do sure it. you do, John. No, I do. Yeah, I do. I, I, I Did you check with me on Ricky Lake? No, no. I mean, I. Oh, 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 You gave me some some guidelines that I had to follow, and I did. Right. You're doing a good job. Show any clips. You're about. You're completely unfunny to me now. That's what you are. Well, Howard, You've I'm ruined sorry. it for me. Oh, I'm sorry. You're not funny I, I anymore. I haven't done anything. You go is, on so many bad shows and so you make you shows. present yourself you... so unfunny. Well, what show are you talking about? Name it. I mean, I mean, you I'll... go on Ricky Lake. They make you a judge. You look like a retard. I, I was there to promote the show. I You're was not doing. funny. I, 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 oh, don't you ask them how they're going to present you? Yeah, they said I was going to be a judge. So, yeah. You know, and I, what does that mean, be a judge? Just so sit... Ricky Lake could ignore you and you're sitting there looking goofy. I didn't even see it. Go out of here. Goodbye. You didn't watch what you did. No, I didn't watch the show. That's I, good. I, That's know. good. You didn't even want to watch. You didn't even want to see it. it. Was so bad. But anyway, I always, I, you know, I you present know. yourself. In a, if you present yourself unfunny enough times, who? I don't even well, think you're funny. Well, I, well, I, well, 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 I wouldn't worry about it because I ain't doing anything. No, I, it's not the point. Not it's not ain't doing anything. But when you do something, put some thought into it. Thank you. That's all I want to talk about. Gary, you should know to put some thought into it. You're gonna go out there and yell into a microphone for five seconds. I really thought all I was there to do was introduce these guys. Yeah. Which is pretty much is that? which is pretty much all I did. I don't know who put this together. Who put this together? Who you put this who put this thing together? The truth? Yeah. Ron Delsner. Ron Delsner. Oh, Ron Delsner. You know, is Where that the same Ron Delsner funny? who's been trying to get me to play the Coliseum for years? So I guess he figured out, hey, I know what I'll do. I'll just take all of Howard Stern's guys. You think Ron Delsner cares how you guys come off? Do you do you think he cares? Well, now we Does know he, he care about how you, about your job no, and no. about how funny you are? After the other night, we know he doesn't care. Yeah, if you're not funny, and yeah, and then there's a fiasco. And my audience is charged twenty eight fifty for some nonsense. Who the hell is Ron Delsner? He's going to tell you how to be funny. Gary, presenting you in a funny way is not the easiest job in the world. You know, I know you're that. not a funny guy. I know that. And when you get out on stage with your mom, you're not funny. I don't know. What am I going to tell you? This is what goes on. It's nonsense. And nobody puts any thought into it. And the next thing I know, I got a Friends of the Howard Stern Show tour, Ron Delsner. And I didn't even know Ron Delsner was involved. Ron Delsner. Who is he? Suddenly he's in charge of my name now. The Howard Stern Show. I tell you something. I'm cursed. 
I'm too nice a uh, effing guy. Let me tell you something. If there was going to be a Friends of the Howard Stern Show tour on any other radio show, you would have bet they checked in. You know Imus, what a skunk he is? You think that his crew over there would put together a Friends of the Imus show without checking with him? No, because he'd fire the whole damn lot of them. You're lucky I'm such a sap. You guys are all lucky I'm a sap. I got a soft spot in my heart for retards. Hash give oses. Goodbye. Yeah. I tell you, friends of the Howard, sir. Goodbye, guys. So long. I'll see you in November. Watch me. I'm going to go back. I'm going to be like Rush Limbaugh. I'm going to talk in my own microphone. I don't need friends. Friends of the Howard Stern Show. I'll be the only friend of the show. <laughs> if they want to do a friend, if Ron Delson wants to do a tour, friends of the Howard Stern Show, the only friend they're going to have is me. Watch me. <laughs> Won't be able to exploit you anymore. These guys don't think I could do a show on my own. What do you think I was doing my whole life? Picking my ass with a feather? Uh, <laughs> you do create monsters. I create though. monsters. I created a monster. I got superstars that all work for me. Stuttering John, Gary Delabedi. Well, it seems that Stuttering John really thinks that he is Stuttering John. Yeah, he's become the entity known as <laughs> Stuttering John. <laughs> and I don't know what he's out there doing. I just turn on the TV and see one bad appearance after another. And then my joke man is up there, 20, 20 hours of John and then the joke man. How, how are you being presented? I don't know what's going on over there. Is he run out of management, too? His management I don't know. I don't know what's down. going on. The only balls Jackie Buss are mine. Yeah. He Everyone can't up. even deal with stuttering John. I'm yeah. shocked. Because Jackie doesn't want to be a bad guy. Not to them. No. He has to keep the uh, group together yeah. so he can make them all yeah, upset so with you. I told them ten right. times. I gave keep them. following Jackie. You'll do well, guys. <laughs> I'll, you'll be so. You'll be out of here. You'll be out of here. Right, Jackie? You're always right. I am right. <laughs> I know I'm right. All I know is Ron Delzer. I don't know. I've never heard Ron Delzer's name before. It's Ron Delzer Dream Team. Friends of the. How much did Ron? I wonder how much money Ron Delzer made ripping my audience off. Somebody give me a tally, will you? Just give me a ballpark on that. How much did Delsner get? All these guys who try to do business with me, they always find the back door into my life somehow. They always manage to do it to me with the help of Baba Bowie. Baba Bowie, my dream team back there. It's Baba Bowie and Stutter and John. I got to take a break. Don't ever bring this up to me again. I don't want to hear about it. I'm being quiet. Thank you. I know there's something you want to say. I'm being quiet. <laughs> Why don't you say it? <laughs> Go ahead. Don't let these guys intimidate you. I don't know how somebody of the caliber of a Ron Delsner calls somebody in this organization and puts together. And nobody tells you. That, tell that me Ron about Ron Delsner is calling. Right. And did you hear Gary? To t Gary the deep throat. Well, to tell you the truth, it was Ron Delsner who put up the money. Oh. I see. I just don't know how that happens. Yeah. These are people you do business with. Gary wheels and deals off my name. These are your people. Yeah. Well, come November, nobody's. I'm clearing house. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stage it. It's going to go down easy, too. I'm going to be a good guy about it. Oh, I'm leaving radio. I don't know. And then I'll be off the air for like three weeks. And then when I come back on, it'll be a different kind of radio show. You'll see how I do it. I'll end up being the good guy. Who does Gary think he's supposed to come to you about? He comes to me about nothing. Now, he, all of a sudden, he started coming to me. Before, he was wheeling and dealing on his own. There's always a scheme going on back there. How to dupe Howard. We're going to do a Six Cities tour backed up by Ron Delsner, uh, Friends of the Howard Stern Show. We're going to put no thought into it and see how much money we can get for it. Ron's running the show. Right. When did Ron start writing and producing? I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know. But evidently I'm tied in with Ron Delsner. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I got to take a break. Sorry for the nervous breakdown on the air. <laughs> we'll uh, be back right after this. Yes, Ganji. It did. Ganji. It didn't go well. If you must know. <laughs> 